It's great to have you here. Those of you that have been with me for a while have seen me make coffee oil before. Um, I've used it in soaps and body butter and some lotions. And today I'm going to use it in a healing balm. Now, coffee is full of B3, which is niacin. And it can help decrease the appearance of sunspots, redness, and fine lines. Uh, it's helpful in preventing certain types of skin growths. And it can also help with dark circles under the eyes. What is better than that? And it is for these kind of benefits that I put this product together for you. And I'm starting with great Starbucks espresso beans. Uh, I grind those up into a very fine powder and then add my oils. In this case, almond oil and sunflower oil. And I don't know, there is just something so wonderful about coffee. It's full of antioxidants as well. And so I decided to treat it as gently as possible. I start by heating it over a very low temperature, 120 degrees, for 12 hours. This allows the beans to release all of that wonderful goodness into the oils. Now, I filtered the grounds out of this already, but I also will do a second filter of the oil. Just make sure that there are no impurities here, like pieces of grounds or anything. While that's great for a scrub and a healing balm, you don't want to feel coffee grounds. And this smells divine. If you love coffee, you would love this. Because of the large amount of coffee that I used in this to the oil ratio, it is very aromatic. And I just love it. And I think you will too. And those who purchase this at market or who have bought my coffee products before always comment on the great fragrance. And I think a lot of that is because I use an overabundance of fresh ground beans. That is different than using canned ground coffee. And I can't tell you exactly why, but it works. What I'm showing you here, the, again, like I've told you in other infusion videos, always make sure that you put a label on your infused oils, whether it's handwritten or printed. Make sure you put the date that you started your infusion and the type of oils that you used. It will help you tremendously. Now to this I'm adding shea, mango, and cocoa butter because they are so good for the skin. And now I'm adding in a rather large amount of this coffee oil because I really want it to carry through it all in a little, 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 got tongue tied. <laughs> I wanted to carry through in this balm so that you get the benefit of that fragrance. Now I'm just adding in my melted beeswax, and you can use soy wax for this if you want a vegan formula. I like the way beeswax feels. Now you can also add clays into this. It makes it a little less oily, but quite frankly, this absorbs very nicely and it takes so very little of it. Just touch the tip of your finger into it and rub it in your skin. It's not the kind of thing where you want to dip out a lot of it because unlike a lotion, there's not a water for it to soak in. Remember, our body is full of water and when you apply oils to it, oil and water don't mix. Uh, so the oil absorbs slowly into just the subdermis, but doesn't go any deeper than that. Unlike a lotion where you use water that carries the benefits deeper into the skin. So I, I spent a lot of time 
<laughs> looking for the right size containers. Now these are two and a half ounce cans, tins, and I'm also doing some one ounce tins. Because again, it doesn't take very much of this, so there's no need for a big eight ounce jar of this. That would last you a couple years. <laughs> and uh, I want you to come back. And the, the smell of this retains all the way through. And I just love that. And when I label these for sale, I am always very careful about trying to center the label, and I'm terrible at it. <laughs> They're always slightly off. Thank you all so much for being here today. It means a lot to me. Thanks. I'll see you back soon. Goodbye.